Slow lorises are the only nocturnal primates in Vietnam. There are very few of them and they're very far apart from one another. They're really hard to find. There's been very little research on them. But at the same time, we know they're threatened with extinction. And one of the major threats to them is illegal wildlife trade. I've been surveying for lorises in Vietnam since 2013. The project is co-created with our longtime partners in Vietnam. We've been to many different protected areas across the country, from north to the south. I survey for the Bengal loris, Nyctisibus bengalensis, and Nyctisibus pygmaeus, a pygmy slow loris. They're the biggest and the smallest of the lorises. As the project evolved, we realized that we need to integrate information on human behavior and society alongside biological information to better understand the complexity of wildlife trade. <laughs> We've talked to people across Vietnam, and we found that slow lorises are traded for a variety of purposes. In Vietnam, a high proportion of people depend on collecting resources from the forest. So what we found is that at the local scale, often people go into the forest looking for something else, but they come across a loris, so they might take it opportunistically. The exotic pet trade is really being driven by international demand, especially from Japan and Russia. There was a recent paper led by colleagues. They found that in Japan, lorises are being sold for $6,000 or more. So you can imagine the influence that has. Here in the museum's collection and in other museums, they have lorises from before 1950. But I can get DNA out of them. And these are critical for our entire database because they're from known locations. So I can use them as a verified sample against the samples I collect in Vietnam and also confiscations. The police can take a sample and send it to my colleague in Hanoi who can then figure out where that loris comes from. Northern pygmy lorises in Northern Vietnam and in Laos are genetically unique from pygmy lorises in southern Vietnam and in Cambodia. And this is extremely important because if a loris is confiscated in northern Vietnam, but it's from southern Vietnam, and it's still healthy enough and it can be reintroduced into the forest, it should really be reintroduced in southern Vietnam. To me, the most important thing is providing rigorous science that can inform a conservation action plan.